Good day, and welcome to the tutorial to go ahead and show you how to sync up a sound effect with a GIF file that activates from your chat while you are live and streaming. So essentially what happens is that you assign your Twitch command with your Twitch bot and go ahead and activate it. And when the sound effect goes off, your GIF will go ahead and sync with it at the same time in a location of you choosing on the screen. I'll just show you the process real quick here on how to complete that. So first off, you need a file to start with. So whatever video file that you want to have to get going, whether it be from online, if it's your own video, if it's something of a recording, whatever. So I'm going to pull this link from YouTube real quick here just because I already have it open, ready to go. And boom, all right. So now we have our source file here. And one big important thing that I will advise you to pay attention to is that when you look at the details for your file that you set up, make sure you know what the frame rate is. If you source your video that exports higher than the frame rate, then what it will do is that it won't sync up. You'll still get your video, but it won't match exactly, especially if they're talking. So pay attention to that. So let's go ahead and bring in our video here. There we go. All right, and you only really need the video editing program uh, only if you are trying to trim down the source video to something smaller. For me, I have, I don't have it the way I want it to, but there are videos that just kind of start the way that you need it in you. So we're gonna go ahead and clip out what we want. I want this part and I want this part here. So let's go ahead and clip that out, clip that out. And the video editing program that you utilize is not really important per se, uh, as long as it does the job, pretty much. I'm using Adobe Premiere, but that's just because what I, that's what I use for me. So now that I have my source file here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is export that. Oh, and back to making sure that the settings are exactly the way they need to be. Source file, you can even see it here. Source file properties shows as 23.976. So basically you round it up 24. So I need to edit my sequence settings, not 60. So we wanna do 23.976 right there, perfect. So I meet the same frame rates there we go perfect as my source file and then now I can export it and I'm gonna export it in the highest quality that I can it's not really necessary but uh, if you want to get the most out of whatever you're exporting go for it it's up to you I'm gonna bring it out in 1080p so the source quality here okay and a two pass we'll give that a moment real quick all right so we have our source video ready to go now on to the next step so this step is only really needed if your file is not leveled out on the audio so a lot of times the source of videos that you get will either have higher volume than what's necessary or it'd be too quiet so just kind of balance it out uh, this would be the way to go so let's go ahead and get our source file here I'm not gonna edit the length of the clip or move anything out of it all I'm doing is balancing it so it's not so loud because <laughs> you can already see it's pretty loud there in the uh, field. Let's go ahead and bring that to a new file. Um, you can use any audio editing program for this here. It's not really important what you utilize. I've got pretty much the Adobe Office, so I'll use whatever I have. Uh, you can use Audacity off the top of my head. Works the same way. Free program. So, let's go ahead and level out that audio here. Bring it on down, 10.5. Don't do it! A little loud still.
Just don't do it! Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and save that. Got a very specific folder. There we go. Save it in the sound effects. Okay. And a lot of times I would recommend to have the most compatibility to run it in MP3 when you save the file. There's different formats you can save it in, but the most compatible one is MP3. So let's go ahead and save it in MP3 format. Okay, save. All right, so that's the audio side of things there. So in order to get our GIF, we need to go ahead and either convert it via a program that you may have of your own choosing. Me, I kind of choose the, the easy way, so I end, I end up going to Giphy.com, which you can go to pretty much any GIF website that allows you to convert your file. So we need the source file to throw into the mixer. GIF setup, that's right. So, Twitch Media, there we go. There's our file. So let's run that through the, the mixer real quick. And pretty much like 80 to 90% of the time, whenever you convert your GIF online, a lot of times it will be pretty much in sync with the source audio that you came out with it every now and then it's not but if it ever is let's go ahead and get this first if your gif is ever out of sync and needs to be sped up a little bit a lot of times it might be just a little too slow which i'll get to that next step pretty shortly um, if it's ever too slow, then you can always go into this site. This is one example site, easygift.com, which allows you to speed up the GIF of your choosing. And you can make it faster. You can change the different effects on it. But uh, I bump it up to 105%, 105. And a lot of times that fixes the uh, speed offset. So I'll show you why that's important. So we've got the GIF file. We've got the audio file. So now we can go ahead and smack them together. So first off, we know we need to go ahead and set up the command that will activate in order for the GIF to follow suit. So for me, I'm using the Streamlabs chatbot as my main go-to because it has the built-in sound effect list here. Ta-da! But if you have some other online service or other chatbot that, ha that implements sound effects already, then use whatever feels natural to you. So for me, I'm using this today. I'm going to go ahead and create a new sound file. I'm going to name it Don't. I'm going to pick the source file that I just created. Don't do it! Just don't do it! All right, and let's go ahead and just make it like 50. 50, 50 internal points, not really important. So now we have our source file, so. Don't do it! Just don't do it! All right, so we are still missing something. We don't have a GIF activated yet. So in order to do that, what you need to go ahead and do, this is the only program that I've found so far that operates in a uh, competent capacity. This program is called GIFBot, and it is made, it was a custom made program by Fierce Kittens, which I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below for this tutorial here. Uh, Fierce Kittens tells you how to set up the, the bot for the first time. Once you have it, it's not bad. All I use from it is the GIF function, but there's other stuff you can do. 
So we're going to go to the gift manager section here. And we're going to go ahead and add a new GIF. This is basically your workspace right here. So as long as this screen is open, whether it be on this main screen or any of your other screens you may have, as long as this is open and not minimized, then your GIF will activate. If you minimize the workspace, it won't, it won't work. So of course you've got to go ahead and create a GIF. Keep it the same exact command that you used to create your sound file. So I have don't for the sound file, so keep it the exact same for your GIF file. Okay, we have that as don't. And then I'm going to find the source GIF that we just created. I hope that it's in sync right off the bat. I don't like having to speed things up. And the length of the file is... What are we at? 3.8, 3.878, so let's do 3.9 for to be safe. So this here tells you that your duration, which it, this will be explained within the uh, tutorial for the creator of this bot. Uh, so I'm gonna make it 3,900 milliseconds, which is 3.9 seconds. And then leave the cooldown as five seconds here. And you can Place it on the screen there. Ta-da! It'll show up. You can place it wherever you want. These controls allow you to edit the size that you want it to be. So it'll pop up like right there. I'll leave it like right there. Perfect. Excellent. And save your file. And then when you activate it, it'll show up like this. So this is my stream program right here. And I opted to place it in the bottom right hand corner. So let's go ahead and activate the command and you'll be able to see it in action. Pay attention right here on the right side. So I activate the command and... Don't do it! Just don't do it! And it's a little short, as you can tell. So you have to edit the sound just a little bit higher. So one key note I have to say is that whenever you activate your GIF, there is a slight lag, and you kind of you kind of have to tinker with it to find the sweet spot. So let's give it, let's bump it up to 4100 instead, because it cuts off a little too early. All right, let's try it again. Don't do it! Just don't do it! And as you can see, the clip is a little off which I hope I was hoping it wasn't but this will show you how to fix that too gif here we go let's bump it up to yeah let's bump it up to 4500 it's fine Don't do it! Just don't do it! Still a little too short. So, yeah, I haven't found a better bot just yet, but this is like the best option I have right now. So you just have to give it enough time to fully play on the screen there. Don't do it! Just don't do it! Sweet spot's coming up, so it's a little off anyway because it's lagging. So here, I'll show you how to optimize it. So we're going to go ahead and choose our source file here. Make sure it's outside of your box. Get rid of that. Save. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit because it's too slow. Okay, so it's the regular speed right there. I believe the sweet spot is 105. I did a bunch of testing on that, but I think that's the sweet spot. 
bump it up just a little bit more. Save. Okay. And now we have our new file here. This is iteration two. So let's speed sped up just a little bit there. You can also ca you can also test the command manually here too. I'm gonna drop it down to forty nine hundred. There we go, perfect. Because you don't want your GIF to cut off early. If you have it cut off early, then it just kind of looks kind of clunky there in the corner. So let's save that. And let's run our command again. So fingers crossed. Don't do it! Just don't do it! That's pretty much as close as you can get. So if you ever want to tinker with a little bit more uh, on the speed, if it lags, then 105 is a good starting point. Don't go above 107, though. I think it is 107 or 108% speed up. But that's pretty much it there. For example, to show off like some of the other commands that I've done so far with the same process here, ones that are a little bit more in sync, this one here. Like this one right here. But wait, there's more! Perfect. So for that one, I had to speed it up a little bit because the GIF slowed down. But that's pretty much the tutorial on how to make this work. And then, of course, if you need to move around your GIF of your choosing to the area that you want it to be in, go for it. That's what this is for. You can move it all around there. You can reset the size. You can make it bigger. That tutorial by the creator of this bot um, goes a little bit more in depth and uh, tells you a bit more about how her bot operates and uh, I honestly think it's like the best thing that's available right now so I appreciate y'all hanging about and checking out this here just remember keep this open whether it's behind a window you can put a window over it and it still works like that or if you want to move it off to a separate screen you're more than welcome to do so it still works see so as long as you have the window open, whether it be just behind something, just in the background, it'll still work. If you minimize it, remember, it'll go away. So thank you all for joining me. Y'all have a great day, and uh, have fun creating your sound effects. Adios.